Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a little remake of a video I made at the beginning of my channel about actually low light tolerating houseplants. Really, plants aren't low light. Like, if you stick most plants in lower light, they're not going to thrive. They're just gonna survive. And some things you can expect, even any of these plants on this list, some things you can expect if you keep them in low light is slowed growth, maybe a little bit smaller growth, um, and then you won't have to water them as frequently. So just be sure to keep those things in those three things in mind if you decide to put any of these plants into lower light settings. I will be going around and showing you the plant where I have it situated in my house and kind of tell you the lighting it gets so you can see what I mean by low light. So I hope you find this video helpful. If I left anything off this list, then feel free to leave a comment down below with your low light plants that you keep in low light. Huge thank you to today's video sponsor. Here's a quick 60 seconds about them. Today's sponsor is Wild Deodorant and this is a brand I am so excited to be working with. It is an all natural deodorant that is super sustainable. <sighs> Something I really love about Wild Deodorant is that they're aluminum free, the ingredients are easy to understand, and they do have a focus on sustainability. Wild is the world's first plastic free deodorant refill, made from plants, packaged in plants, and can be composted down to feed new plants, which is really like, really incredible. You pick an aluminum reusable case. I chose the black one, but there are a variety of different colors. And I did have mine personalized to say my name so that my husband would know it's mine and he does put it on his stinky armpits. <laughs> the refills themselves are aluminum, paraben, and sulfate free, and they actually aren't an antiperspirant, so they don't block your pores to prevent sweat from actually coming out. Sweating is actually really important for our bodies. Three scents I've tried so far are mint and eucalyptus, which definitely leans more toward the eucalyptus scent, jasmine and mandarin blossom, just like minimal, so I really like this one. The last scent I've tried is orange zest. It is a very soft, soft citrusy smell. So I honestly really, really like all three of them. I do think my favorite of the three is the Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom. So I highly recommend giving them a try. They have several other scents as well. If you're interested in switching to a more sustainable, natural deodorant, click the link in the description box and use the code HarleyG to try Wild's amazing scents and get 20% off your first order. And with all of that being said, thanks again, Wild Deodorant. Let's get back into the plants. Okay, so number one on the list is Spathlophyllum or Peace Lily. This is my sensation Peace Lily. It is the large variety. It has stayed in this little spot right here. So it gets, um, I'll show you the window that, that gives it the light it gets, but it's about 20 feet pulled back from a small south window. It does also get a little bit of ambient lighting from um, these north windows over here, which are like 10 feet away. But again, it's kind of tucked into this corner, so it gets very little of that north light. So the combination of the 20 foot, 20 foot away south window that's tiny and then the north light, it is extremely low light. Um, but like I said, I don't have to water this as often as I maybe would have to otherwise, which is kind of nice because sometimes peace lilies can be a little thirsty and dramatic. So it's a way to keep that in check for sure. Although I will say the variegated varieties. So like I also have a Picasso, Domino and Silver Mist or Platinum Mist actually is what it's called. Um, those ones do need a little bit more light. If you keep them in low light like this, the variegation may fade over time. So, I mean, like you can do it, but just be aware that the variegation might go away. Okay, let me show you the windows. There's the plant. Hello, plant. And then clear over here is the south window I was telling you about. This is the south window I was telling you about. So it is very small compared to other windows. And oh gosh, I am going to show you the north windows as well. Although ignore my laundry that I have yet to fold. Those are the north windows that I was telling you about. So it gets a little bit from those. Um, not too much though. Now we're in my like guest bathroom or the hallway bathroom, the one that most people use that isn't like mine and Ryan's bathroom. Um, and I do have three plants in here that are low light. So this window just off to my right, an east window so it gets like morning sunlight and these plants here this one's this one doesn't really live here it's just getting watered right now these plants here pretty much get like hardly any light from that window like they're pulled 
very off to the side and it is kind of a smaller window like bathroom windows are usually smaller but they've done actually really well they also get the like fake lights the bulb lights but they've done really well okay so the first one that i recommend oh that scared me i thought it was a mealy bug it's not a white butterfly syngonium the green variety syngoniums there are a few different ones can tolerate lower light and they actually do quite well and i personally really like the way they look in lower light because they get kind of weird like they kind of grow all over like they'll reach for the light but they don't really like stretch too much at least in my experience and this is probably the lowest light light like corner that any plants in my house get but i mean you can see it it's like big it's doing good it looks really healthy popping out a bunch of new growth here. So I think it's a really good one. And again, I have to water it less, which is nice. Really not, again, like the variegated or super colorful ones. Um, anything really green can tolerate low light a little bit better than anything with color. Okay, okay. Then next to that right here, I hope you can see. Can you see? I can't. My eyes are terrible. Uh, this is a Lucky Bamboo Dracaena. It was a plant I've struggled with for a long, long time um, until I moved it here. And now that it only gets this lighting, it does so much better than it did before. So this is the one plant that I would say is like the true exception that actually has done better for me in lower light than in higher light. Like, of course, plants want light, you know, too much light. No, but like light they want. But yeah, this one has really done a lot, lot better here. So a lot, lot better with low light. So it's a good option. And now I know why everybody has these in their windowless bathrooms. And again, that is Lucky Bamboo or Dracaena. It's not like true bamboo. So just so you know, I never knew that. I thought it was bamboo. It's a Dracaena. Here we have the third plant in this bathroom, which I am calling low light. And of course I have to talk about it. It is a golden pothos. Um, so it does get a little, this side of it, you'll see when I insert clips of like the bathroom setup with the window, but this part of it does get um, some light. I still wouldn't consider it like highlight or bright light by any means. Well, I guess right here maybe gets a little bit of bright light, but then this over here definitely gets low, low light and it still keeps growing. Although I will say there are some sad leaves up there. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll insert clips. Yeah, it's definitely out of screen. A couple of leaves died off up there, but for the most part, like it looks pretty good. This leaf here is even a little bit like um, sunburned. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe these bulbs are like, they're just regular bulbs is the thing. They're not grow bulbs or, or anything like that. But I mean, we all know golden pothos or like pothos really can grow wherever. They'll grow wherever they can. Stick them in like cement cracks and I swear the thing would grow. Of course, this is a good option, but this is kind of one that everybody already talks about, but I couldn't leave it off this list of like actually low light plants. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw it in here really quick. Okay, let me show you my bathroom. So there is the west window. Here's the golden pothos. Um, those dead leaves I told you about up there. Yeah, and then the lucky bamboo and white butterfly syngonium. So that is my bathroom setup. I love it, I think it's so cute. These have been really great low light options. Okay, onward. Okay, next we are in my bedroom, which you've seen this plant in like pretty much all of my bedroom plant tours, I think. I have switched up my room a lot. This has been a really good spot for this plant. So I'll probably keep this here as long as we live in this house. Anyway, I, it has a north facing window, maybe like 15 feet away uh, from the plant. It is a pretty big sized window, but I do also keep a curtain in front of the window. So it is sheer northern light it's getting, or like sheerly covered northern lights it's getting. Again, I'll show you. It's a cardboard palm, but this is an extremely, extremely slow grower, like be warned. I did buy this in a larger size because I knew how slow growing they are but it is a great one for low light. It's done really well right here. And again, this is actually between this and the last uh, Syngonium corner I showed you, they're probably the lowest light spots. I don't know between the two, which one actually is, but this one is definitely low, low light. Been here for probably a year now, still growing, still alive, doing the thing. And I think it looks really good. So it's a good option. And then while we're here, kind of on the same note, ZZ are a great low light option as well. I no longer have any though, because I actually gifted them to my sister. You know, let me know if you'd like to see a houseplant collection tour of my sister's house, because 
or my sister's apartment because she has a ton of plants. Maybe that could be fun. Let me know if that'd be something you'd like to maybe see. I think it'd be fun. Maybe I'm just going to do it whether you say you want to see it or not. Yeah, ZZ plants are kind of on the same page as this. They can grow pretty quickly if they're given higher light, but they will slow down for sure. This one's already kind of a slow grower. So then the bonus low light makes it even slower. Um, but ZZ is a faster grower, kind of slows down in lower light. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Let me show you the setup here. There is the cardboard palm on this side of my room behind the bedroom door. And then if you turn all the way around to the north side, there is the window. So it is, like I said, quite a bit away. It is in very, very, very low light. Looking cute, doing its thing. I'm happy with it. So now we are in, again, it's really echoey. I'm so sorry. We're in mine and Ryan's bathroom. If I open this door, will it help? Did that help? Oh, that actually helped a lot. Okay, so I'm now in mine and Ryan's bathroom and I have a few plants in here again. So first is a Hartley philodendron pulled about as far back as the cardboard palm is. It's a little bit closer and more direct to the window. And there's also not a curtain on this north facing window. So it is a little bit higher light than the cardboard palm gets, but Still pretty low light, especially considering we leave the door open that blocks like half the window most of the day. Um, and then next to that is a golden pothos, but we already talked about that one, but I figured I'd mention it since we're here. So yeah, um, Hartley philodendron, mine's done really, really well and it's grown, it's grown pretty well. I love the way it looks. It's like climbing up the wall. I love it. I love it. It's a really good option. Um, and yeah, it is again, probably it's between 10 to well, probably like closer to 15 feet away from the north window, but again, not a covered north window. Okay, and then, there it is, look at it. Isn't it growing so cute, like up the wall right there? Growing up the wall right there, kind of doing the same thing there. And then it's gonna start doing that right there as well. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then, you know, a little golden pothos. Um, and then if I turn you around, there is the window. And offset from that window here, the last plant, or actually not the last plant, the second last plant on this list, which is lemon lime pothos. This one does better in lower light, if you ask me. Um, it gets a little bit more vibrant in lower light. And again, this isn't like super low light, but I definitely consider it lower light for sure because it is so like offset from the window, like hangs off to the side. Yeah, it's a really good option. And the leaves on this one stay pretty big. That's why I like it as a low light, a little low lighty plant. Okay, and then the actually the last plant is Maranta, which the one I will be showing you today is the... Oh my gosh, why can't I think of the name? Calathea macoyana. Um, this one's a little offset from the window. Like it's a little bit even more offset than the, the neon pothos I just showed you, but it does get a little bit more light than the neon pothos because it's a little bit like farther away from the window. It's like five feet, something along those lines, but it is definitely low light and it does super, super well. This is the last one. I love it. Okay, so my bathroom's a mess, but you can see there's the Maranta, Neon Pothos. Oh, stay in focus, but it won't even show light because they're so like offset. Um, and then the north facing window. And then again, over here are the Hartley Philodendron and Golden Pothos. All right, so those are all 10 plants on my actually low light tolerating plants, house plants list. Um, again, if I forgot any, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. They're all good options in my opinion, but if it's not your opinion, that's okay. You can disagree with me. Um, just leave a kindly worded comment in the comment section. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.